Hey everyone, this is Eric here and welcome to another episode of Miles of Portraits, LA to Santa Fe. If you're new here, I'm Lisa and I ride our bikes across America and around the world documenting the stories of the people we meet out on our bikes. And something we get asked all the time is what do we eat? Now, as athletes living with type 1 diabetes, health is one of the most important things to us, but we're also in our 20s, so being affordable and accessible is another huge thing. And on this trip, we decided to bring a new luxury item, which is a manual food processor. And so I'm gonna show you three easy recipes that use this, and hopefully you'll have some great takeaways. If you're interested in when I actually start talking about them, I'll leave the list over here. But we're talking uh, coleslaw, we're making a hummus, and then we're making one of our new favorite healthy desserts, um, which is an edible cookie dough. All right, the first recipe is a coleslaw. I love traveling around with this to throw into a wrap or on top of a rice cake. And a tip for bikers is to choose a heartier leafy green such as cabbage. Uh, one, it's super cheap, but two, something like romaine or something softer will really wilt quickly. And these are also great to make lettuce wraps if you are trying to watch your carbs, if you happen to be type 1 and watching this. So with that, let's begin. Cut a wedge or two out of the cabbage. It's good to chop it up if you are using a manual food processor. And blend that. Add in a carrot or two and blend that in as well. And give it a good squeeze of stone ground mustard. Now, mustard is something I love to t bring with us on every trip. Annalise and I are always talking about spreads. Um, I think it's good to have a spread on you because it's just useful for a whole bunch of things. But diving back into it, from there, add in a wedge or half a lemon for citrus. This is kind of the juice to bring it all together. Add a pinch of salt and pepper, and then if you want, cut up a tomato and throw that on top. Now put this on top of your rice cake in a wrap and enjoy. All right, the second recipe in talking about spreads is a hummus. I love making hummus and out on the road you have to make a few sacrifices, but this manual food processor is what makes it possible. Now, sometimes we carry olive oil on us, but sometimes we don't. And recently I've just been using the juice of some pickled vegetables because it comes in olive oil. You can have your comments about that but I appreciate using everything to multiple uses and don't bring weight if you're not going to use it. So to make a simple easy hummus open up your can of garbanzo beans and if you're looking for the best lightweight can opener um, I don't know what this is called but you'll see it in outdoor stores and you have to learn a little bit on how to use it. I'll try to link a video in the corner um, but this is easily the best lightweight can opener and you need this for traveling. So open up your garbanzo beans, strain them, throw them into the food processor, give it a good whirl, and then from there you can use your other half of the lemon to squeeze that in, and then pour in some olive oil and water until it has a chunky but smooth texture. From there, put a pinch of salt and pepper and you are good to go. And once again, smear that onto a uh, rice cake and you can top it off with slices of cucumber and tomato and if you really want to get fancy put some feta cheese on there as well. Edible healthier version of a cookie dough is amazing and was brought to us by Lene who hosted us out in Poway so thank you for this and of course the recipes will be listed below. Now for this recipe, take the other half of the garbanzo beans that you might have left over from the hummus and pour that into the food processor. And from there you'll add some dry ingredients such as cinnamon, a pinch of maple syrup or honey, some sort of sweet, and then it calls for a nut butter and what we are doing is adding three of these RX nut butter bags because they are perfect because they have some dates in them and vanilla which is the flavor we are looking for. So squeeze those in and then blend that up until the, it's the consistency you want it and from there add in the mini chocolate chips which just make it mm, special and wonderful. And this is pure luxury on top of luxury is vanilla extract. We'll just be using a pinch of that. 
from there, you have yourself some cookie dough, and I will be storing mine in this peanut butter jar and taking it on the trail. Alright, so I haven't made a cooking video before, so if you're waiting for a review, just know that the pigs of Arizona gave this a good five stars. And don't worry, the edible cookie dough did make it. <laughs> and, the, and the mustard. <laughs> the mustard. And the mustard, the mustard which also it. got a special shout out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had some disturbances during <laughs> our sleep last night. Uh, but yeah, we're all right. <laughs>